Today I wanted to show you guys a really awesome mod. This is created by Will Ease and this is called Cubots. And you may see a cute little character in my hand. That is actually one of the Cubots. And these little guys will spawn naturally uh, throughout your world near lava. So if you do find one of these guys, which you're gonna wanna do first, is kill him. I know it's kind of cruel. Come back here, you're making me ruin my world. I need to kill you. Um, sometimes when you kill them, they will drop these things called cube pieces. And what you do with these cube pieces is you will then create a cube bot power core. So uh, this is used to tame your little cube bots and make them do different things for you. So here's a crafting recipe right here with one diamond, a cube piece in the center, redstone and iron ingots along the side. Um, you can also create, if you want your cube bots to live longer, you can create life cores with four cube bot power cores and lava bucket. Um, so that will give you four lava cores. And if you want to make it back into uh, the cube power core, you can also reverse this recipe. So if we continue, if you want your cube bot to have an infinite life, you then create an infinite life core, which is done with a blaze rod and uh, surrounded by life cores. Another cool item that is added is this cube call, and there's also an instant cube call. So the cube call is crafted like this with iron, redstone, and a cube piece. And what this does is calls all of your tamed cubes within uh, 64 by 128 by 64 blocks, and they will come around you. Uh, the instant cube call, as you guessed it, calls all of your tamed cubes, so it doesn't matter how far they are, and that's crafted with a cube call and an eye of the ender. There's some really important items um, which will help your cubes determine where they need to go and what they need to place inside chests and stuff. So you need to create a marker, and that's done with wood planks and wool, and that will give you a marker. Then to create this chest marker, which you're going to use to mark your chest to uh, help your little cube bot determine where he needs to go, uh, is done with a marker and a chest on top. So there's also two different types of marker. There's a pig marker, which is made, uh, you can either make it with cooked pork chop or raw pork chop. And there is a chicken marker, which is made with a feather and the marker. So the way that you place the markers, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab these ones, um, is you will have to shift and then click on top of a box. And that's going to tell your little cute bot uh, that he needs to place those items inside there. But we don't want him to do that. We're gonna let these ones roam free. And uh, I have some cute bots over here. So these guys are all tamed, and the way that you tame them is you just, let's let's just show you guys, you just have to flash your Q power core, and all of your little minions will come follow you. They will follow you, but um, if you don't have your cube core out, they will still uh, follow you around, and um, the way that you make them stay is you just right click them and they will sit and they will not move. So. We're gonna make these little guys, well, they're not gonna get out because they're engaged, but if they do get attacked, they will stand up and run around. Also, this dispenser, I have put in some life cores and some cube bot power cores, so if there's a bot that's standing in front of it and it's low on health, it will give it either or. So these cubes do not have infinite life on their own. They only live for two days, which is 20 minutes. If you want to extend its life, you would give it a life core, and that would extend its life for 18 more minutes. If you wanted to live forever, you would give it the infinite life core, which I went over earlier. So now I'm going to go over these adorable little cubes and there are a ton of them. There's a ton of them. That they have a bunch of different abilities that they're able to do. Whoa, you got out of that hole. So the first cube bot I'm gonna go over is a collector and he is crafted with a chest, redstone, and the cube bot on the bottom. And that will give you a cute little collector. Let's go ahead and spawn one in. So. There's our collector, and he knows that he has to go to that box over there. So what this little guy does is every cube that you drop, whoop, he will go and collect it and put it in a box. So 
go put it in the chest that's designated and he will just collect all of the cubes that you drop. Let's see him just collect all of these. Can you collect all of those? Whoa, he is fast. So he is putting them inside of this chest and he is good for, I mean, if you don't have enough space, you can have this little cube block cube bot follow you around. So the next cube bot I'm gonna go over is a fighter. So he's crafted the same way with the cube bot on the bottom, redstone in the center, and a wooden sword now. That's the only thing that's different. So let's go ahead and spawn one in. And what this little guy will do is you spawn him in, and if you have a chest, a uh, designated chest for him, and you put different types of swords, I had a diamond sword in here, he will grab the swords uh, once his sword breaks durability. So uh, what he will do is he will defend you. So any monsters that are hostile towards you, he will go and attack them. The next cube bot I'm gonna go over is a lumber. So as you guessed it, cube bot, redstone, and a wooden ax will give you a lumber cube bot. So let's go ahead and place one down in here and he will chop down some trees for you. And he just went ahead, grabbed, uh, I have some axes in here. He will grab those once they lose durability. Um, he will then go ahead and grab a new one. So he's gonna go plant, or chop down all of the trees in the area. He is a really fast chopper, just saying. Super cutting speed. So the next bot I'm going to show you is a fixer and he is crafted with three cube pieces, a cube bot and redstone at the bottom. So there's the fixer. I already have him spawned. I just love the way this one looks and what this one will do is a healer. So if you place some food in its designated chest, it will then go in. It's taking out the food. There's no food left. Um, and if you take damage or any bots around it take damage, it will heal it instantly. So. Um, that is very helpful if you're out and you need a healer. Wow, that lumber just took down all of those trees. The next bot I'm gonna go over is a breeder. So it's done with a Cubot redstone and a Cubot power core on top, and that will give you a breeder. Let's go ahead and spawn in a breeder. And as you guessed it, this is like the mama cube. So she is going to have a bunch of cube babies. <laughs> so adorable, there's one on her head. Um, I don't know why I put a chest in here. I don't think uh, this one needs a chest. So uh, the way that the mama cubes work, the breeder cubes, is they are only allowed to at most breed three bots. So they will bear a new bot after three minutes. The next bot I'm gonna go over is a farmer. So he is crafted with a cube bot, redstone, and wooden hoe, and that will give you a farmer. Let's go ahead and uh, spawn in a farmer. And um, I have in here some farming materials. He just took them all. So he is going to go ahead and plant those for me. He does not uh, need a hoe. Uh, that's, that's what it said, but I think he may. He's not farming. Alright, so the way it works is that, wow. Oh my gosh, this little guy is on a mission. Um, if you go ahead and hoe the ground for him, he will plant them for you. And he is using the bone meal and uh, I will have a lifetime supply of potatoes with this little farmer dude. This is awesome. He will go around and uh, Wow, he ran out of you ran out of bone meal, didn't you? It's okay. It's okay. You did good. The next cube bot is an archer. So it's crafted with a cube bot on the bottom, redstone, and a bow. So that will give you an archer. And um, what this little guy does, uh, I have a chest here with bow or arrows. I think he just took them all. <laughs> so he is all arrowed up. And what he will do is. Uh, target entities the same way that we do and shoot them. The next bot is a smithy. So this is the crafting recipe with an anvil on top and that will give us a smithy. Let's go ahead and bring in a smithy into this world. So there is little smithy and what you will do with this little guy is he is your personal smith and if you put in damaged items into the mark chest uh, like swor swords and axes, pickaxes, he will then fix them for you. So um, you put in the damaged and he will then put in the nice green items. The next spot is a milker. So these are crafted with a full glass of milk and this will give you a milker. And if we, if we bring in a milker with these cows, 
he will then go around and milk the cows and what you need to do is you need to put um, an empty some empty oh wow he's taking they take everything way too fast <laughs> you would have to put an empty um, bucket some empty, empty buckets inside of here for the little milker to do to carry so he's gonna go ahead and milk those cows and I'm not entirely sure how you get the milk from him where is he gonna put it back in the chest I'm not sure. We could come back and check on him later, see if he's given us any milk. The next spot is a butcher. And um, so these are the, there's two different crafting recipes for this. You can either use a cooked pork chop or raw pork chop, and that will still give you a butcher cube bot. And if we put him inside of this uh, area with these pigs, since we have the pig marker, He's going to butcher these pigs that are around this marker. And when I say butcher, it doesn't mean kill. He is slowly slicing the ham off of these pigs. So the pigs will not die. Um, oh, I put the milk in this. He's putting, he's putting the milk in the different... Okay, I understand. Maybe you can't have the cube or the cube bots in a close vicinity um, because he mistook mistook this one for his but look how many how much milk we have we have a lot of milk so this little pig uh is thinly slicing this little bot is thinly slicing meat off of this pig without harming him so this is good the last cube bot is a chicken bringer and the recipe is done with a feather and that will give you a chicken bringer and they look adorable from the side just saying so what these guys will do is they will go out and find some chicken for you and bring them back to this chicken marker right here <laughs> look at this little cube bot going to town on these pigs I don't know if it's bugged or what but I don't see any meat in here maybe he is placing it in the other cube I'm no he's not so I'm not sure what's going on with that one but that is the cube bots mod I hope you guys enjoy this and try it out yourself I think there is actually a contest going on on the forum to the end of this weekend and you can create your own bots so you can suggest that to the creator and uh, whatever you think would be helpful for you and your game he may or may not create that bot and add it to the mod. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am Cupquake, and I will see you all later. Bye. It's like they're gathering around me. I'm going to tell them a story. Once upon a time, there was a cube world.